What is happening guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I know people are having difficulties running Escape from Tarkov with the new wipe, so I'm here to tell you how I run it between 70 and 80 frames on a fairly mediocre PC. I have a GTX 1060 paired with a Ryzen 5 1600 along with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some virtual memory to our hard drive. So how you do that is you go to this PC in the search bar on the bottom left hand corner. We're going to right click this PC and click properties. Then we're going to head over to advanced system settings. There's two things that we're going to do here. So in performance, we're going to click settings. And with these visual settings, it's always let's uh, let Windows choose what's best for your computer and that adds a load of animations and stuff that just takes performance away from from your system. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust for best performance. Click that, click apply and click OK. Go back into that tab and go over to the advanced tab. And this is where we add virtual memory to our hard drive. So it allows our RAM to push past the limit, basically. And with Escape from Tarkov, it is really RAM intensive. So we're going to add some virtual memory to our hard drive. If we click change here, make sure you go to the hard drive where you have Escape from Tarkov installed. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to click custom size. I have it done here already. And because I have 16 gigabyte of RAM, I'm going to be adding 16,000 on initial size and maximum size, clicking set. And then you should see apply down here in the bottom and click OK. Now that that's done, the next thing we're going to do is go to NVIDIA control panel. Make a couple of changes in here. The first thing we're going to do with the top tab here, adjust image settings with preview is we're going to use my preference emphasizing and we're going to click that to performance hit apply then before we go to manage 3d settings we're going to go to configure surround and make sure your processor is set to your graphics card in this area here then we're going to go to change resolution. Make sure your resolution is set to your monitor's resolution along with your monitor's refresh rate. And then we're going to go back to manage 3D settings. Now, instead of using global settings, I would recommend going to program settings and selecting Escape from Tarkov from the drop down here. If it's not here, you can add a program. I'll show you how to do that. So if you click add, then you go to browse. We're going to go to this PC, select a hard drive that Escape from Tarkov is installed on, Escape from Tarkov, and you're going to select this application exe file here. That will add it to your program settings in the NVIDIA control panel, and then we can make a couple of changes just that will affect th uh, this program. So image scaling, use global settings, andostropic filtering off, FXAA off, Gamma correction, use global settings, mode of setting, none, background application max frame rate, off, CUDA GPUs, global settings, low latency mode, on, max frame rate, use global setting, multi frame sample, AA, off, OpenGL GDI compatibility, global settings, OpenGL rendering, GPU, make sure your GPU is selected. This is a really important one. Power management mode, maximum, uh, prefer maximum performance. Uh, texture filtering, so the, just a couple of texture filterings here. So the first one is on, negative LO, uh, LOD bias, allow quality, high performance, and trilinear optimization on. Threaded optimization, global, tripper buffering, global, vsync off make sure this is selected off as well another really important one and when you have that done you should see apply down at the bottom make sure that's applied and then you're good to go then what we're going to do is we're going to download a program called msi afterburner which is a program that allows you to overclock your gpu i wouldn't recommend doing this if you have a fairly modern gpu but i've got a pretty old one as you can see here the gtx 1060 and it does struggle with Escape from Tarkov if it's not overclocked. So the settings for this are core clock 
Um, core clock is set to plus 181 and I've done some tests on this as well so if you do have a 1060 these should be pretty good memory clock I have set to 237 power limit turn it the whole way up and that will actually bring the temp level uh, limit up as well fan speed that will go up and down as the car gets hotter or colder click save and you are good to go let's open up the game and I'll show you my in-game settings now that we're in the game, we're going to go to the settings tab and I'm going to go over everything that I have selected. I would recommend playing around with a couple of these. I'm still testing at the moment just to find out the best possible performance for the PC. But at the moment, I'm able to run the game pretty well and I'm happy at the moment with how it's running. So the first thing that we're going to do is make sure automatic RAM cleaner is turned off and only use physical cores is turned on. That's all you're going to select here. The rest are just for visuals. Then with the graphic settings, so there's a couple of important ones here. So screen resolution, make sure it's set to your uh, monitors resolution. Screen mode, I have it selected on borderless because I stream. But also, if you want to get more frames, I would select full screen here. Aspect ratio, 69. And your monitor, again, is selected to the, the main monitor. Texture quality, there is some debate about this. You can play around with this. I have seen online that if you put higher texture qualities that it's actually easier on your GPU, but with the 1060, it seems to struggle a little bit on medium or high, but by all means, play around with the texture quality. Shadow quality, make sure that's selected to low because this is a big performance hit if you select it on medium or high. LOD quality, select it, uh, LOD quality, put it to 2. Overall visibility, 400. Anti-aliasing, TAA. Resampling, turn it off. The rest of them are off down to antistropic filtering, which I have on per texture. NVIDIA Reflex low latency on and boost. You can try on and see that you get a performance increase, but at the moment, on and boost is working perfectly for me. When I first started testing, I had it to zero, the sharpness, but I just wanted to clean the game up ever so slightly, so I have that on one. And the big one here for me, guys, this wipe, for some reason, the MIP streaming seems to be running the game really well. Now, you will find that the textures sometimes they take a second or two to load in, but I do find the increase in FPS far better than having fancy looking textures. So I have MIP streaming turned off, I have buffer size turned way up and this usage turned way up as well you can go ahead and save that and then if we go over to post effects again this is something that i'm playing around with and is personal preference i think if you have it turned off it will give you an increase in fps you can try that yourself but these are just the uh, post effects that i have on it's just something that i'm playing around with at the moment and trying to get the best post effects that uh, that suit me sound uh Binaural audio is the one that I had to turn off. I think they may have fixed it, but there was a bug where I was getting massive frame rate drops due to the audio. So I am going to be testing turning this back on. But if you are struggling with performance, make sure you turn this off and restart the game and check it again. And that is it, guys. Please let me know in the comments section if I've helped you out, if you're able to run the game a lot smoother. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like, subscribe to the channel as well. Catch you all later, guys. Thank you.